Hi, this tutorial is going to look at um, Google Drive and the, um, the ways it can help us as an instructor and with, um, with students work. So Google Drive is a virtual file store or storage space. It's somewhere where you can create or upload documents, spreadsheets, presentations, etc. And it allows staff or students to collaborate on those documents, presentations, etc. at the same time or um, different times and they can collaborate and work together on one document. It kind of saves you having to email somebody an attachment saying here's my document please make amendments and send back. You can all go into the same space and just make changes yourselves either at the same time or at different times. Um, you can, it allows you to comment on each other's work. This might be good for feedback if a student maybe was working on an essay um, and you were going in giving some feedback or giving some, um, making some amendments or they wanted to make some amendments live or explain something. Also good for group work. Uh, students could work on a project together, either um, a presentation or a document, etc., and they could make changes, etc. Documents can be accessed from anywhere with the internet, or they can be downloaded for use when you don't have an internet connection. And they can be private, or you can share them with one, two, three people, just somebody with the link, or with the entire world. Another good feature is you can have historical versions. So if somebody accidentally deletes a line or makes an amendment and you want to go back to a previous version, you can do that and you can see who's made the changes, etc. It will colour code for different people who've accessed it. So there we have it. Google Drive, good for sharing, collaborating, commenting and accessing. So let's take a look. To access Google Drive, you'll first need to set up a Gmail or Google email account. Once you've got that set up, you'll have access to this toolbar at the top when you log into Google. And we're going to click on Drive, and there we are. This is my virtual file store. This is my Google Drive. So I've got a number of items here. I've got PowerPoints, uh, sorry, presentations rather. They're not actually PowerPoint, these are Google presentations. I've got spreadsheets, I've got documents, and if I scroll down, I've got MP4s and folders, etc. So all these blue ones are the equivalent of a Word doc, but they're a Google doc. If I scroll down, there we go, I've got one here that's got a W, and that means it's actually still a Microsoft Word document rather than being converted or started off as a Google doc. So I can upload um, something from Microsoft Office, Word, pr uh, PowerPoint, anything like that. And I can either, I have the option when I upload it to keep it as a Word document or to convert it into a Google document. To upload something from that I've already created in um, MS Office, just go over to this orange button here and click Upload. And it will then give you the option as well. So that's actually uploading to create a brand new document in Google click on the orange create button and you get a drop down list here so I'm going to start off creating a document and there we go so you'll see it's very similar to Microsoft Word but a much more basic version it is um, free so you're not going to get all the bells and whistles you would get with Microsoft Word but it will do for sharing and collaborating on something and you can always download it and convert it back to a Word document and add all the bells and whistles later if you so wish. So this one's untitled so if I hover over the untitled document bit and click on it then I can type over and change the title so we'll call this Hello World and click OK. There we go it's renamed that for me and I can type straight into the document there. I can now go and share this with somebody else. If I hover over the blue share button at the upper right, it tells me it's private only to me. Click on that and it will open this window where I can go ahead and share it with other people. So I can share it with my other email address and if I'm going to do that I would recommend adding a message. So I'm going to click on the message down here. Um, please see the doc. Worthwhile giving a bit of information there um, rather than just sending the, the email link, the document link. So I'll click share and save and it's just asking me am I sure because it's somebody out of my university environment and yes I am and now you can see the extra email address has been added there with can edit next to it. So I'm the owner and the next person I've added can edit. If I click on can edit I can change them to the owner, I can allow them to comment only on it or they can view only if I want them to. 
Another thing to note while we're in this um, window is at the top here we've got private, only the people listed below can access, so only the people you've emailed. But I can change that and make it either public on the web, allow anyone with the link to see that, or my own university, or again keep it private. So I'm going to make this one anyone with the link and click save takes me back to this window and now this link up here I could copy right click and uh, copy or control C and then paste that either into a document or a website or email it and actually paste that link in an email and then anyone who has that link can also access the document as well so I'm going to click done and there we are now if I go back to share it says anyone with the link and I can always click on that and see who's actually able to collaborate on it so that's the way to share that document. Um, I can also make comments. The button next to share allows me to add a comment. And that will show there. And if somebody wants to look at that later, they can click on comments and they'll see that I've added that. What else can we do in, in Google um, Docs? So if I wanted to download it, if somebody sent one, um, sent one to me and I was opening it and I wanted to download it, I could go to File, Download As, and I could opt to download it as Microsoft Word or plain text, etc., or a PDF. Here's where I can see revision history as well. So um, under File, you go to revision history, and if there have been any other changes, they would list them down there in uh, color-coded depending on which collaborator. I can close that. Um, let's have a look. Um, I can do a new new copy from there. I can share from file. I can also rename it and I can make a copy. Slight different wording to uh, Microsoft Word. So rather than save as, if I wanted to, I would make a copy of that or I could rename it. It will automatically save it, by the way, every um, few seconds or few minutes everything saves. You can see they're all changes saved in, in Drive. If you just made a comment, you could just wait a few seconds and it would save it for you. Um, but yes, I can, I can make a new copy and then I can rename that if I want to rather than save as and renaming it. And I can print from there as well. So you can see an email, collaborators, email as an attachment if I so wish. There's plenty of options there. So I'm going to close that down now. It's automatically saved for me. And now in my um, Google Drive, you can see it's, it's created, it's added a link there. Hello World is now a document on the top of my, um, my drive. I can right click this and I can see who it's shared with from there. And again, email the collaborators or email it, it as an attachment instead. I can also star it if I want to, which I can just do from clicking on this star there. And then I can search by my favorites. I could also add this into a folder. So if I just tick it, as I've done here on the checkbox next to it, and above there there's Organize as a folder icon. Click Organize, and I can add it to any of these folders, or I could create a new folder. I'll just call that Hello, create it, and then click Move. And there it is. OK, so that's quite easy to do as well. One thing to mention, you could have um, a number of documents or spreadsheets, etc., and you might have shared some of them with certain people. You could share the folder itself as well. Again, you can right-click and click Share. If I share that folder with a number of people, then anything I move to that folder, those people will be able to see and access. So just be aware of that as well. It's quite handy. It saves you having to maybe share five, six, seven, eight documents with um, people individually, you could actually move all those documents into the folder and just share the folder. Um, so what else to tell you really about it? Um, limitations, the basic menu, some things like tables if you're in Word, um, tables may lose formatting so you might have created something in Microsoft Word um, and it's got a table on it and then you upload it and it, the formatting gets messed up a little bit. So in that aspect I'd say um, either start from scratch doing it as a Google Doc or leave the table out until you've got it uploaded into Google and then add the table. Um, sometimes if you're both collaborating on something together or two or three people are, it can run a little slow as well. You might uh, find there's a delay in typing slightly just now and then. Um, but other than that, for something that's free, I think it's um, a fabulous piece of, um, a fabulous tool really. Um, it, it, it just opens up the world to you. I mean, as, when, as working at the university, I would have to um, access VPN to log in to get to my drive. And now I don't even use specific drives, I just use Google Drive instead. 
it just makes it very very easy to share with um, with staff and with students alike okay so that's it that's um that's all i've got to say today on google drive so i'd, I'd suggest you go off and experiment yourself create yourself an account and and have a play around thanks very much <laughs>